Guys, so today we are ripping apart the boat. A brand new boat. Yeah, we bought a lot of the wiring that we need to run some, some of our um, plumbing bird units on the boat. Never buy a boat from the dealer if you could do this yourself because yeah. they'll charge you way too much money. So if you get an idea of what you get and what we're upgrading to. So this is the transducer off of the, uh, the Lawrence Reveal. I think it's a Reveal 5. Yeah, it's the little one. Man, see how cute this is compared to this one? Yeah. So, it's not even like close. It's not even close. So, what this does is, even though these two transducers have the same technology in them, they both do down imaging, they both do uh, the traditional 2D sonar. This one has uh, side imaging on it, but that's not the fact. Uh, the thing is, this transducer has a lot more actual just coverage and it's able to output a lot more power so in terms of depth in terms of everything all the above that's going to beat that any day okay so i think the dealership wanted like some some ridiculous like six hundred dollars to just do the labor install so we're going to show you guys how to do that there's going to be a lot of little things that in terms of you know how to mount this thing how to keep the angles on it that'll really help you out because this was installed I feel like it was installed in an hour and you need to take your time installing this because if the if this fundamental mounting thing is off your fish finder is going to show you all types of weird things and you're not going to be as good on yeah the and when we had our I mean, well, this guy was actually installed cricket yeah <laughs> installed cricket too yeah that's why you need before, this. Yeah, before it went out. So we're going to show you how to basically install your transducer uh, correctly. So right. let me come on. So we're at the back of the boat. Back of the boat. Things are still in so the So what is this bracket called? This is, uh, this is actually an optional add-on to a lot of new boats. So if you don't have this, you're actually going to drill right into the hole. <clears throat> like that hole, which yeah. they already did. If I knew about this, I wouldn't have let them done that. Okay, that's just me. But this is a transducer bracket, is what they call it, from the boat manufacturer. So then you have this piece, the stainless steel piece, mm -hmm. that comes with the sensor. And if you look at the boat, the boat needs to set level before you do this. So you always want to check to see how level your boat is. So our boat is not actually level, okay? It's not perfectly level. You can check that surface, you can check that surface. And it's pretty close, it's not level, but it's consistent, Yeah. right? So you want this to be level with the boat. So for, this plate might be off, but you need to be level with the boat. So when you do this, just keep in mind, see that's like perfectly level right there? But you actually don't want that. You actually want it a little, a little off little bit off, off. kind of in the middle of the bubble is where everything was at it's kind of right there it's probably where you want and a lot of people might ask why do you want that okay so if you don't have this set properly your fish finder thinks it's set properly so when you're using it and you do GPS uh, coordinates or you do side imaging everything is calculated based on this being like level right perfectly level so if your unit is doing this, it might, the meter, the, the, the trend, the head unit thinks it's 50 feet to the left, but if it's like crooked by that much, it's actually just 30 feet. And then when you do waypoints, you come back, that's why you can't on the first cast hit your fish or hit your targets. So you want to kind of minimize your problems at this level. So just keep everything straight. And on top of that, once you get this bracket mounted, you will talk about this thing too because this thing can also pivot like this mm -hmm. so when this thing can pivot you don't actually want this thing level like you don't actually want it level on your boat not as it sits on the ground you actually want it level when the boat sits in the water so with this giant engine on the back of this boat the boat's gonna ass and be heavy so for the most part so if you if you didn't know this you install it level on your boat when you put it in the water, it'll actually be like this. It'll be acid heavy to actually do that. So you want the, you actually want to do this after your first trip or after you launch the boat and you figure out where it's at. 
and then you maybe have to put the boat back on the trailer and then adjust this final screw the screw that goes through this hole because if you're in the water and you know that it needs that much to be level all right if you need if you know it's that much to be level then you come back and adjust this back up to that and that's how you know you got a good working system so it's it's completely normal to have this tilted up because I've seen some boats have a really crazy rake on the on the uh, on the boat, and their transducers literally look like this, and it's actually that's how you know when the guys actually know what he's doing, mm -hmm. because when his boat sits in the water, the transducer might look like this on land, but then it sits like this in the water, and that's how you know that guy know what he's talking about. Yeah. All right, so let me install it, and uh, we'll show you guys the final product here in a second. I'm gonna draw this one a little bit up just to give it a little different. No different action, I guess. Oh yeah, make sure when this goes through, you don't hit this surface. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad, okay? That's real bad. So you take your time, go real slow. Smooth a little bit. Where's my neck? Alright, so I'm gonna be a little off. I'm gonna be a little off. So uh, probably about it gets a little off, so it's probably right there. That's I don't know. That's like one degree. It's about one degree off. All right. It's now almost permanent. We can melt this. I don't even know if there's like actual instruction on how to do this or not. But yeah, this is these are one of the biggest transducers you can get, at least for for the fishing world. I think everybody else, uh, it's commercial world, it might be too small, but for the fishing world, it's pretty pretty good size. All right, so re recap really quick. You want to uh, first level and always oh, thought level this bracket right here. And then what we're gonna do now is put the transducer on, but you basically gonna have to wait to really, you can tighten it down, but you have to adjust it once you get to the water and you want this at a certain angle, depending on how your boat sits in the water. Oh, yes. The other thing that I wanna talk about is this. So you can lower, you can move the transducer up and down, mm -hmm. but you actually want it, if you're gonna put this on, See, that's the water line coming off the bottom of your boat. Yep. You want that water line to be like this on the transducer. So like halfway up the like transducer. Halfway up the transducer, or even almost all the way up, but not all the way up. Because what that does is, if it's too low and the water hits this edge, it'll cause rooster tails when you're running uh, real fast. So, so you actually so always want the water. Know, what's, yeah. what's rooster tails? Because rooster tails is when you have anything underneath this boat, as it's running and it kicks up water and it goes everywhere. It just freaking splashes everywhere. Mm. And that's what happened to the original transducer. They had it installed too low. It was probably an inch lower than where it needed to be. And as soon as we were running, maybe even 15 miles an hour, water was splashing everywhere. It was just dousing the motor and everything, the big motor. So we had to raise it up. But on this one, that's another key thing to do. And also, if you have it installed just right, you could, the transducer still can read bottom if, it does, if it's not too high up. So that's a that's a key thing for you to play with that a little bit. But those are the main things you want to pay attention to in tr introducing the uh, transom transducer. Now this is only one side. We can get really crazy and install two on each side. But you know, for now we're just gonna do one. Let me let me tighten this up and I'll show you guys uh, the final product. Yeah, that's good. level it temporarily so I'm just take a good guess right so right now it's actually bending up which is probably what we want because when it's in the water it actually yeah our boat point. actually sits a little it's pretty level actually our boat yeah yeah but yeah but it's kind of what you want yeah that's a good starting point you yeah. know once you get on the water you get the and you can do this with an iPhone too, okay? 
Well, it's got the app that shows you the exact degrees and everything. You could degree your boat and then take that degree and apply it to the transducer. But you're just going to bend it the other way. All right. But it's actually bad. This is actually bending down, so you actually want it to go up a little bit. So you probably probably want to go like right there, like just to start off. Now, this is the OEM hardware. There are things out there that can save this because if you do a lot of shallow fishing, there's a chance you'll hit it and you'll break it. But there are uh, companies that make uh, special brackets. Let's put it that way. Special brackets that when you hit something, this actually flexes up. Or there's metal guards and things like that that helps protect this uh three hundred dollar transducer but but for right now we don't have it that'll be a future video if we decide to do something like that we do already have one on the front trolling motor and that saved this that has saved that transducer at least at least ten times so it's probably something you might want to look into but regardless this is now level it's pretty much ready to go uh, we're gonna run it up back to the existing hole that they've already drilled because we have no choice and then we're thinking about running it through this drain hole instead of going through the top that's that's just to keep things a little more clean looking and i just don't like the look of too much exposed wires gives you a chance of getting things hung up so let's do that let's finish it up let's finish it up It. That's pretty much the install right there on the transducer. And then you have to go uh, run the wiring, run the wiring through back. this, mm -hmm. through the front of the boat. And this is for the unit that's going to be at the uh, console. Yeah, side imaging, mega imaging. 